about this. That right, looks good. Now there's San Francisco. Wow. San Francisco, Monterey, all the way down to LA, up to things. I finally get to see San Francisco from EDA. Okay, let me BRT off here. Thanks, Dan. I know you let me know that. You want, you want thermal cover? Yeah, let's pop the thermal cover up. Okay. Got a tether through there, so it won't close completely. That's okay. Better than nothing. Actually, let me just take that tether off here. I'll put it out here. This is my waist tether, so that should be okay. Okay. Put it down here. Wow, what a, what a way to come over the West Coast. Yeah, oh, my amazing. goodness. Let me get situated here. Hey, Rex, Jerry, when you get uh, situated, let me know, and we'll go over the procedures very quickly. Okay, copy. Stan Love and Rex Ballheim setting up to perform the swatch test on the divot, an area of interest on the outside of the airlock. As the shuttle and station orbit 207 statute miles above the Earth, passing over the west coast of the United cool. States. Position it here. Wow. Oh, man. Isn't that amazing? That is just incredible. <laughs> Bridges, Berkeley. I can see uh, San Carlos where I grew up. Down in that area. Absolutely amazing. Oh, I'm looking further north. All right. Gary, you want to read me, talk to me about the procedures? Okay, the first thing we'd like for you to do, Rex, is to take the Velcro there on your tool and draw it across the uh, crater site, seeing uh, whether or not you're getting any significant. Uh, snaring or tearing of the Velcro as you do it. I want you to do it in several different directions just in case there's a directionality of the spurs that might be there. Copy. Is this it right here, Stan? Yep. You're in the right spot. Sorry about all the feathers. Okay. If I can get them out of your way. Let me try baseline here first. Okay, normal hand where I don't feel anything. Yeah, I can feel a little bit of rust. It's not really grabbing or anything. I mean, it's, it is rust. And uh, I can't tell in lengthwise direction. Can you see it on WVS, uh, Jerry? Yeah, it's breaking up a little bit, but it's a uh, small enough target right site there. that it's difficult to see. Okay. But it looks like it is snag. I can feel a little bit of snagging as it goes across, I think. Okay. Has it, has it uh, tore the Velcro at all? Yeah, you can feel it right. Not that I can tell. Okay, Rex, so we're ready for the next step. And it, it will be about the tool. Rex, you can move your right just a little bit. Say again one more time. We're ready to proceed to the next step, and it will be without the tool. Say again there. With the uh, overglove? Correct. Sorry, Jake. Can you see the next step again, please? Yeah, sorry, we're on a drop out. We're back with you now. Oh, no problem. Yeah, can you see the next step, please? to come back from the ground. I want you to move to your right just a little bit while you're doing this action. And that's a good position right there. And I got a good uh, view on it on WBS. Okay, good. Okay, Rex. Uh, next step is with your index finger to make swipes in four different directions, trying to position them on the index finger itself such that you make a box. Okay. And we're looking for fairly, fairly hard pushing. That's my overglove, not. Okay, and that's my overglove, not my uh, 
touch tool, right? That's correct. This is with the overglove, your index finger, RTV. You didn't see or necessarily feel much of anything. Now, can I try to do it back and forth a little bit, see if I can get anything? No, I think they want to uh, preserve the one time each direction. You can't, there's nothing to see. I can't even see anything on my overglow. Okay, and uh, we're looking for as firm a pressure as you can apply. If you've got all four directions with the index finger, we're ready to proceed to the next step. Okay, I'm not sure I got all four directions. Um, yeah, Rex, I think you need to go left to right. So. Okay, let me go left and right, okay? You're going to do that one low. I'll go to the right um, below, and I'll go to the left above. Copy. That's up, that was to the right. Yeah. Okay. Okay, uh, repeat the same steps, making a box in four different directions with your thumb, RTV. Okay. Okay, great. Let's go. I'm going to start low and go up this way. Let's go. Okay, that's um, going half. Then we're going to just go. And I'm going to go this way. Okay, copy nothing. Next will be with the overglove okay. Vectran, which is on the uh, base of the index finger. Same motions. Okay, base of the index finger. You have to reposition a little bit for this. Four directions complete? Uh, yeah, I think so. Okay, uh, we're uh, done with the overglove. Now we're going to go to the tool, repeat the same things for the RTV, okay. and then the Vectran on the tool. Okay, Stan, can you move our little, little uh, station forward, please? Uh, forward, all right. Okay, watch your tether here. Okay. The outboard works a little better. Okay, how's that? TV on the end of the fingertip, right? That's affirmative. The uh, tool RTV. 